Hi, my name's Claire. Hi, my name's Drew. And we're in our second year at Goldsmiths. Both studying English and Drama. And we're going to give you a campus tour today. We've got Deptford Town Hall. Do you remember we had our first lecture in there? Building number one is the Ben Pimlock building. It's probably one of the first views of Goldsmiths you'll see, especially if you're coming from Newcross Gate Station. It's very iconic, it's got its own squiggle. So most of the windows that you see up there are all art studios. But there are also computing and psychology labs in there as well. This is Laurie Grove Baths, which used to be swimming pools, but it is now art studios. The uh, tanks that used to hold the water are now the Goldsmiths Centre for Contemporary Arts. This is a place where you can hang out. It's the year and also the multi-faith chaplaincy. The Goldsmith Student Union is in the heart of the campus. Inside there, they have their own student union run cafe. They have a radio station as well as a bar. In here, you can ask about societies and events. And I definitely suggest that if you come to Goldsmiths, you should join a society because it made my first year at Goldsmiths so much more fun. Behind us we have the Margaret Macmillan building where educational studies take place. You can also find Warmington Tower. My English tutor is in there and the views are amazing. Behind us is the Goldsmiths Library. We've spent many hours in there but hopefully it's 24 hours. So uh, inside there you haven't just got the books to help with your essays, you have social spaces and uh, a cafe as well. Actually do, do you fancy a coffee? As long as you're paying. Goldsmiths is smack bang in the heart of Newcross. There are great places outside of the campus where you can grab lunch or get a drink. So behind us is the Richard Hoggart building. This is like the original Goldsmiths. It was, this was here in 1843 when it was a Royal Naval College. As the main Goldsmiths building, you'll find a lot of what you'll need here, including the student centre, career service, a ton of teaching spaces, computer labs, a cinema and cafes where you can study and meet with friends. One of the coolest places in Richard Hoggart building is the Great Hall. In here, there will be lots of events. As well as this will be the place you'll be graduating. So down this corridor, you have the music and the theatre departments. Inside here, you have music studios as well as theatre performance spaces. When you walk through the back of Richard Hoggart building, you'll find the green. From here, you can see buildings such as the Whitehead building, where the graduate school is located. You can also find the Lockwood building, which is where the design students go. And then on top of the hill there, you have the Professor Stuart Hall building as well. So this is the Professor Stuart Hall building. This is where a lot of the media and communication students will be going. There's television, radio and photography studios. You will find the Institute for Creative and Cultural Entrepreneurship. And uh, if you come with me downstairs, you've got one of the biggest lecture halls as well. This is where uh, you'll probably end up. So that's pretty much the campus at Goldsmiths. Uh, obviously when you get here, you'll see all sorts of different little spaces that we didn't manage to cover. So I really like the St James Hatcham Church, which is a great performance space. Also at the back of the church, you have Computing's Hatch Lab. Uh, you've also got the Anthropology Buildings and the Allotment Gardens as well. They're all nice places. So that's it for the Goldsmiths campus tour. Uh, be sure to check out the South East London tour video for uh, more information on the surrounding area. Warmington Tower actually looks really good in the sunglasses.